In this week's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to recreate a colorful look that I created for a shoot with Carolyn Jacobs and By Reader when they launched their Prismic palette. Today, I'm gonna to be using a whole range of colorful pigments from Fenty to Mac to By Rido. You can really use whatever you like as long as it's vibrant and punchy. And I'm gonna show you how to create a really nice color blend across the eye from yellow to orange to pink and then finishing it with a frosty blue lip. So this is a really lovely, easy look to create because it's essentially just taking a few different fluffy brushes and just really blending all of that beautiful color around the eye and then finishing on the lip. So I'm gonna show you the color way that I like to do. And I'm gonna start with a vibrant yellow. So I'm gonna take a yellow powder pigment. I'm not gonna be specific about which yellow I'm using now because you can kind of just, you know, any vibrant yellow pigment that you already have can use it. I'm just gonna take it into the inner corner of my eye and underneath, just like this. And the same on the other side. And you want a really nice vibrant yellow because we're gonna layer some gold over the top of it. Just underneath like that. So I'm just gonna look up and just drag it along like this. It's already quite a nice look just with a simple bit of yellow actually. Quite nice paired with no eyebrows. So when you've got that on, you can go in with a gold. So I'm gonna take a beautiful kind of yellowy gold and I'm just gonna start to drag that along the lid into the middle and up underneath the brow. You can see it just sits really nicely on top. And then I'm gonna blend into the yellow some orangey kind of bronzy color into the middle. So I'm actually just using the same brush right now because I'm just building all of these colors up slowly and the brush, using the same brush is actually helping me to blend them all quite nicely together. I'm gonna take some of that orange underneath as well, just down here. So now I am gonna change my brush and I'm just gonna go in with another fluffy brush and a really kind of vibrant pink, like this. And I'm just softly pressing it into the rest of the color like this, not dragging too much. And I'm gonna just bring it round and out onto my cheek and just underneath like this. And just brushing it up gently, just up into that brow area and blending it out really nicely. You can take a big fluffy brush if you want to and just buff it out at the edges just to get that really nice blend. Again, just take that bigger brush and just buff out those edges so they're all nice and blended and kind of disappear into nothingness. I'm just gonna take it up a little bit higher just so it sits on the very tip of the brow and up into the temple. And now I'm gonna take an even darker color and just line the outer corner of my eye on the top and bottom just to add a little bit more definition. A little kind of skinnier brush. And I'm gonna go in with a kind of bluey purple color just on the outside here. And then I'm gonna blend that out with a little bit of dark brown. So now to finish this look, I'm gonna give myself a blue frosty lip and I'm using a Supra color. I've got this palette here, which is full of all these different colors, Cryolandu Supra colors, and it's just kind of like a cream based product and they have tons of different colors. I've got a tiny little bit of lip balm on just to make this stuff stick and shear it out a little bit. I'm just gonna tap it in like that. And then when I've got that color on, I'm gonna go in with a frosty blue Fenty highlighter just to kind of make the lip a little bit more dimensional. Put that in the middle like that and you can see it's just given it a really beautiful kind of glow. And I'm just gonna bring it up to the cupid's bow like that. And that looks really nice and luminous now. That kind of ombre lip. 
Thanks for watching. That was how I achieved a very colorful eye and lip combo that I designed for a shoot with Carolyn Jacobs and Byredo. I will see you all next week.